The vigil is still going on right now. It's expected to wrap up any moment. You can hear the congregation coming together, singing and praying. And you know, a lot of the folks I've spoken to have spoken about this sense of fear and helplessness, but coming together moments like this and standing together in solidarity has been very helpful. You know, earlier today, I was in Kent Mill, Maryland, which has one of the largest Orthodox Jewish populations along the East Coast. And the folks I spoke with there say they're shocked by some of the images they're seeing coming out of Israel. And they're concerned about the safety of their family members in conflict zones. Today has been anything but normal at the Silver Spring Learning Center and Bernstein Jewish Academy of Fine Arts. Many students didn't go to class, and many teachers are distraught over what's happening in their home country. Everybody is broken. Everybody feel we we were surprised. Everybody, everybody shook right now. Meshi Sadan moved from Israel to Montgomery County three years ago. For the first time today, she heard from her brother. My little brother is in the army. Uh, I can't stop to think what what he's feeling now. Uh, how many bodies he saw and what it's going to do if he's going to back alive, of course, what it's going to do in his uh, soul, you know, in the future. It's like a nightmare. We this Israeli teacher who didn't want to identify herself says her mother's home was nearly struck by a bomb. <laughs> this is video her family center of the aftermath. Very hard to see. It was a miracle that Nothing happened to them because they were in the safe uh, room. Across Kent Mill, there are signs of solidarity. It's just hard to really think about anything else today. We just pray for each other, and there's not, and we wish there was more we could do. But with so much uncertainty, it's hard for people here to feel any sense of normalcy. How concerned are you for your family's safety? I wish I could bring them here, you know, for, at least for now, because. I don't know what's going to happen next. You know, one of the biggest messages out here is a sense of coming together and feeling that sense of unity. And as folks come together and congregate, D.C. police have upped their patrols, not only at synagogues, synagogues but other houses of worship and embassies, as well as, as folks continue to grapple with some of those stunning images that we're seeing coming out of Israel. These Live in Northwest D.C., Mauricio Casillas, News 4. Yeah. Tense times indeed, and let's hope they begin the healing process. There's so there much tonight. weighing on this community's mind, yeah. for sure. Mauricio. Casillas. Mauricio, thank you.